Have you ever had a harebrained idea and wondered if you could do it in Canva? That's me all the time. So here's one of them. So I wanted to make the text spread from a single point. So this is how I made that. So the first thing we're going to need is text. So I'm going to come over here, add a text box. Um, I used Horizon for this and I used it at 171. So with 171 and enter, that's too big, but you'll see we just need one letter at a time for here. Oops. And it went back to my other page there. So let's delete this right here and go back. So what you want to do, and I'm cheating a little bit because I've already done this, is you want to make your first thing you want to do after you get your text prepped is make your final product where you want to do it because you want a template when you start your animation. So what you want to do here is you want to copy these and we want to go over here to, I have it in my starred ones. You want to get this black gradient rectangle. So what I want to do with that is I want one of those here. And what I want to do is I want to go here. I want to go and bring this to the front. Bring it over to the edge here of my R. If I wanted a more deeper shadow, I'm going to make it bigger. And then what I want to do is I want to crop it down to the size of my letter. It doesn't really have to be, but you really want it. You don't want it kind of going into your other letters when you overlap them. So try to get it as close to your letter as possible. And then what you're going to do is like this will be, let's be click it good. And then we're going to make that the E. And then you're going to copy this. Oh, I don't want the R, silly. Well, I can, I do want the R. I want my shadow. We want to copy that and then put it on each one of our letters. So what I'm going to do is get my letters and everything already, and then I'll be back. Okay, now you see that I've got all my letters ready to go. So what I want to do now, what I'm going to do too, I, hold on, I'm going to change the color of all these to pink. Just because my outline is blue pink oh, okay I want you to show me my color here all right position give me R give me oh give me oh give me oh give me oh pink give me E sometimes it'll come up at the top some it won't but if you don't let's see we just go into position here go into this E that will show it there get you some pink going on same thing here go into position Go into this one, and then it'll show up here, and then you can go pinky, pinky. All right, so now we got them all pink. So now what I want to do is I want to stack them. So what I want to do is my R is going to be on the back side of this. So, and if I didn't mention before, when you, when you do your letters and your shading, group them together so they stay together. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm mentioning it now. Okay, so we want to go R. E is your second letter. You want to line that up. B is your third letter. You want to line that up. 
a a and l so what i want to do is this is where how i want it to spread so this is my template so when i start going here so i'm going to go into position and i'm going to move my l now don't try to click on the l and the go because sometimes if you have group stuff and you try to animate it, only one piece of the item in your group will move sometimes. So always, if you're going to do any animation of anything that is grouped together, always go into position, click on that, and then hit the animate. Learned it the hard way, but this for me, this is how it works, and I haven't had any problem since. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to do our animation. And you're going to use the shift key because you want it to go straight. So we're going to do shift and we're going to go over. And it's not doing anything. So let's try again. Canva. And I'm not getting anything again. Canva. There it goes. So I want it to go into my line and then see how that goes. I want smooth because I'm not very smooth. Done. We might have to work on the timing afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through that and get all my letters lined up. Now that we've done with our initial animation, what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to test so we can see what it looks like. Um, see what we need to reposition, see what we, if we need to speed anything up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our template out so we can get a better look at what our animation is going to look like. So we're going to go down here and test it again. And now we can see it as it unfolds and as you can see the l is going a little slow so what we need to do is go back and adjust our e and our l our e is a little bit off so i want to go back in there and go to that e find it in our position go in there and go back custom it doesn't say animation once you are have animation in there it's going to change that button's going to do custom so you go back into animation and reanimate it and try to get spaced where you want it to go. You want to look and see how it turned out. That looks really good. That's a good spacing there, right where you want to do it. And done. So now we're going to go back up here, back into position, and we want to do our, our L. And we want to speed it up some just because, as you can see, our L was dragging in the beginning. And now we got a good speed on it. So we want to save that speed. Done. And now, ta-da, 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 the big reveal. Doesn't it look pretty, y'all? We did a good job. Yay, team! I just want to take a moment to thank you for coming to my channel and watching this tutorial. If you wouldn't mind, please hitting that like button. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Much love, Michelle. Peace.